Okay, hello. Um, if you're not aware already, um, Blizzard have released a blue post essentially saying that they're going to be nerfing all three mage specs on weekly reset, mainly in the AoE department. Um, to start off, I think that this is totally fine. All three mage specs are three of the best specs in the game, I think, in Mythic Plus and in Raids. Um, but yeah, they say here they're specifically going after AoE damage, but then at the end they say fire single target is also trending higher than intended. So if we look at the bosses, so Notharian fire is quite high, Magmarox fire is quite high, um, Rashok fire is quite high. Um, it's not performing super well in Sarkarath, but whatever, it's quite good on all the other bosses. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that Augmentation Evoker, whenever it buffs Fire Mage, does not correctly get its damage back. So some of the damage that is attributed to the Fire Mage should actually be attributed to the, to the Augmentation Evoker. Fire is not the only spec in this boat. Uh, Demonology and Unholy are both in that boat too, and they're both performing quite well. So I don't think a nerf, a nerf here is totally fine. What's kind of strange is that Fire, um, fire is the only spec getting nerfed in the single target department. Um, seems a bit nonsense. Um, but I think that the nerf itself in a vacuum is totally fine. Um, so for fire, 5% aura nerf, flame strike and flame patch damage reduced by 6% and they deal reduced damage beyond 8 targets. Um, and then Sunking's Blessing, the pyroclasm effect was nerfed by 15%. The flame strike and flame patch nerfs are totally fine. Fire does ridiculous damage at super high target counts and the reduced damage beyond 8 targets is totally fine too. A lot of specs I mean, basically every spec is soft capped beyond eight targets anyway which makes you think what's the point of it in the first place but whatever the main thing i'd be worried about is the damage of all abilities being reduced i think the fire still right if they fix the augmentation thing and they do this nerf along with the sun king's blessing nerf i think fire still trends on the high-ish side of single target damage but um I think that if you look at like the strengths and weaknesses of the three mage specs, I think that fire is in a position where it needs to be tuned higher than the other two specs in order to see a lot of play, um, which right now it is. But yeah, I think if it gets like, we don't, we don't have exact data on how good fire is because of the augmentation bugs, essentially. And if it gets tuned down too much, I don't think I'll see like any real play. Well, it will see play because people play it even when it's bad, but <laughs> probably shouldn't. Um, but I think that all of these changes are justifiable in a vacuum, especially if other specs like Unholy and Demonology are maybe brought down too. Um, again, they suffer from the same issue as Fire, where you can't really tell how good they are in logs. Um, for Frost, Frozen Orb damage reduced by 5% and Comet Storm as well, and then Blizzard damage reduced by 4%, and the Sub-Zero damage bonus to Frozen targets is also nerfed. Um, sure, whatever, it's very, very minor. I'll show numbers towards the end, but sure i don't really care and then arcane um arcane barrage damage increased resonance nerfed slightly arcane explosion and arcane orb also nerfed by six and eight percent respectively kind of strange i think that arcane is certainly good but i didn't think it was like pumping keys in the same way that fire and frost were they're both fire and frost were both highly represented and the highest keys being done in the two days this patch has been out but yeah i guess I don't know, someone doesn't like Arcane. Um, but yeah, again, it's a small nerf. I think that Arcane will be more than fine. Um, so this is what my three specs sim at at five targets now. And this is what they sim at at five targets afterwards, after this change. So do not have let you, make you do maths. Arcane is getting roughly a 4% nerf at five targets. Fire is getting roughly 8% and Frost is roughly 3%. So with the Arcane and Frost changes are pretty minor. Kind of interesting that Arcane is apparently getting a bigger nerf than Frost, but whatever. Um, fire 8% nerfed on AoE, I think that's totally fine. I While I think that the single target one is maybe question mark, I think that an AoE nerf is more than justifiable. Our, uh, fire is still going to be extremely good. Frost is still going to be extremely good. I, I actually think Frost might be better than Fire, but they'll both of those specs will be towards the top end of Mythic+. Plus. Um, in Raid... I think that very little changes for Frost and Arcane. These nerfs are basically nothing on single target. Don't You don't even need to think about them. The Arcane change is not a buff, in case you're thinking that the Arcane Barrage change does not work out at a buff, but it's basically DPS neutral. Um, so yeah, it's really just in the AoE department um, where I think that Fire and Frost will still be good. And Arcane is... 
probably still good too, but I think that it's sort of noticeably a tier below the other two. Um, so the real question is just like, where does fire end? Uh, but I guess we'll just have to see. Uh, we've got a long time until next progress. By the time progress rolls around again, we're going to be potentially dealing with other patches since then. We'll lose our current tier set and we'll be gaining new tier sets. For what it's worth, Fire's current tier set is one of the best, if not the best tier set. Um, so Fire is going to, if you just like love averages, I guess Fire is going to get a nerf by getting a brand new tier set. Um, or is more likely to get a nerf from a tier set than a, a new tier set than a buff. But anyway, we'll see. It's not something I'm going to think about super hard now. But yeah, um, if you like this video, sub to the channel. I know it's fairly informal and quick. I mean, it's a fairly small blue post that might not be final, so I didn't want to put a ton of effort in this video, but I wanted to get some initial numbers out there and get my thoughts out there. I'm going to be streaming Push to Myth Mythic Plus title, hopefully, and, I'm being, and I am streaming all my raids. So if you want to see the new mage specs after the rework in action, uh, do tune into my stream, which I will link in the, the description. But yeah, thank you very much, uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.